what are you doing here in Somerville anyway? Honestly, hey. my mom won't say it, but we're completely broke. Uh oh. And the only thing that's left in our name is this creepy old farmhouse our grandfather left us in the middle of hell. No kidding. Why'd you bring me up here? You're ashamed about you? <laughs> oh. What is that? I don't know. <laughs> Somehow, Broad? a town that isn't anywhere near a tectonic plate, that has no fault lines, no fracking, no loud music, hey, Paul. is shaking on a daily basis. Uh oh. Oh, guys, Duck and cover! Hey, remember that one summer with Dad at our table? I found this in my living room. Whoa, killer replica. A replica of what? A ghost trap? But what? Your dad never mentioned this to you. It's just my mom. Ooh, a tricorder. My grandfather died. My mom says we're just here to pick through the rub love's life. Wait a minute. Uh oh. Oh, luck. Karma. Ooh, karma. I believe that everything happens for a reason. Oh! Come on, darling. Dirt? Back to one. Yeah! But oh, what? Yeah, I'm really not impressed with this trailer, but I'll watch it again. So, before I give you my thoughts, give me your thoughts down below. This trailer is underwhelming, but not terrible. Ghostbusters Afterlife is another soft reboot like Man in Black International and Jumanji Welcome to the Jungle. Coincidence or not, all three movies are Sony movies. The 2016 movie should have been a soft reboot since apparently Sony was insistent on the original actors making cameos as silly fan service. People naturally hated or despised that movie. I didn't mind it. I seen it only once. I'm sure Paul Rudd and the kids will be fun to watch. Thanks as always for watching guys. My Twitter link is down below. Let me know what you think of the Ghostbusters Afterlife trailer. Did you like it or hate it? Hopefully the next trailer is better. I'm seeing Jumanji the next level on Thursday. It should be fun. I'll talk to you later. Alrighty then.